Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I am Dr. Bhumika. Here is what I bring to you from the world of medicine. Clinical trial finds two common surgical approaches equally effective for managing trachomatis trichiasis. A comparison of three surgical techniques in patients with trachomatis trichiasis showed that bilamellar tarsal rotation at 3 mm incision height and posterior lamellar tarsal rotation are equally effective in treating the condition with no difference in post-operative trichiasis. The study published in PLOS Neglected Tropical Diseases was supported by the National Eye Institute, part of NIH. Trichomatis trichiasis, a potentially blinding condition where invert turned eyelashes scratch the front of the eye, can successfully be treated by either of the two most common types of eyelid surgery. According to findings from a large comparison trial funded by the National Institute of Health, some studies have reported post-operative trichiasis rates of 30% or higher for patients with trichomatis trichiasis following surgery and repeat surgeries are more difficult, said Emily Gober, PhD, University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. This trial sought to determine if we could decrease the risk of post-operative trichiasis by modifying the surgical procedure. We found that existing approaches result in better outcomes. Trachomatis trichiasis affects approximately 1.7 million people worldwide, mostly in poor and rural areas of Africa. The condition arises after repeated or chronic eye infection with the bacteria Chlamydia trachomatis, which is spread by person-to-person -person contact. Trachoma is very common in hot, dry areas of the world and repeat infections can eventually lead to scarring and malformation of the eyelid. This malformation causes the edge of the eyelid to draw inward so that the eyelashes scratch the eye. If left untreated, trichiasis Trichiasis can result in corneal clouding and eventually blindness. The study which took place in southern Ethiopia enrolled 4914 patients with trichiasis in one or both eyes. The participants were randomized to receive bilamellar tarsal rotation at 3 mm incision height, bilamellar tarsal rotation at 5 mm incision height or posterior lamellar tarsal rotation. Researchers rechecked the patients for post-operative trichiasis at 6 weeks and again at 12 to 18 months. On average, approximately 17% of the eyelids had post-operative trichiasis. There was no difference in risk of post-operative trichiasis between the two methods with the 3 mm incision height, while those who received the 5 mm incision height by lamellar tarsal rotation were significantly more likely to have post-operative trichiasis. The results indicate that the current standard surgeries Either method at 3 mm are better option for trichiasis treatment than the 5 mm method. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Medical Dialogues. Stay tuned for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.